Hey guys, welcome back to Hale's World and check it out. We have the new generation IMAX with new beautiful colors, new bezels, new camera, new cables, new keyboard, new mouse colors, new power connector, new ports, new speakers, new slim design, and all of that packed with a powerful M1 chip. So let me show you what it can do. So of course, aside from that super powerful M1 chip, I am so pumped for the fingerprint ID. There's actually quite a couple features linked to the fingerprint ID and to add one, you just head into system preferences, add a fingerprint and it does take a little bit of time. But once you've scanned your finger a couple of times and got your details in there, here's a closer look at all the different things you can do using that fingerprint ID, like unlocking your Mac using Apple Pay, iTunes verification, password autofill and even quick user switching. So for for example, if someone's busy using the computer that is not you, but then you head on over to the iMac and want to log into your own profile, all you do is simply scan your fingerprint, then click the button and instantly it'll switch over to your profile and you can carry on from where you left off in a matter of seconds. Then the keyboard also got some seriously useful upgrades, but something to keep in mind is depending on what model iMac you go for, you'll either get the Touch ID or a lock button. But other than Touch ID, there are some pretty cool new functions on the keyboard, which are all located right up here. And the first one is Spotlight. So as soon as you click this button, Spotlight will open up on your iMac and instantly you can search for files, applications, you name it. Then there's a dedicated dictation button, which if you click instantly, it'll type out anything like speech to text and is beyond useful. Then we've got the do not disturb button. So if you click on that, straight away your computer will go into do not disturb mode. And if you want to change any settings, you can do so just by clicking the do not disturb button. We also have a dedicated emoji button, which is on the bottom left hand corner. And so every time you want to add an emoji, you simply click that button, the entire emoji menu appears and you're good to go. So by far, one of the best new specs of these colorful new iMacs is that super powerful M1 chip. And these puppies definitely have some good performance. As a test, I opened up Final Cut Pro and layered a bunch of different 4K footage. I duplicated clips, opened them all in a multi-cam view and did a lot of different video edits, then minimized that and opened up Photoshop to edit a picture. As you can imagine, these programs and graphics take up a lot of processing power. And not only that, I then minimized Photoshop opened up a game called Asphalt and instantly started playing that with no issues whatsoever, with Photoshop and Final Cut even still being open in the background. I then minimized the game, opened up Photoshop again, then Final Cut, continued editing and played back 4K footage. So I mean, yeah, this tackles just about any task you throw at it with no problem. And by the way, if you're busy enjoying this video, then definitely hit that subscribe button because we're on the road to 1 million and if you subbed, that would be Wow. Then taking a closer look at some hardware updates, the IMAX webcam got a much needed upgrade to a 180p resolution camera, which basically means it looks so much better and it has an enhanced light sensor for any low light conditions. Then the power cable also got some major updates with this brick being the biggest addition and of course the ethernet port. But again, depending on which model you go for will depend on whether you get this ethernet port or not. So that's just something to keep in mind. There is also a new directional three microphone array that basically picks up your voice when speaking and enhances it as best as possible. It's not exactly great for voiceovers, but for video calls or FaceTime calls, it's absolutely perfect. And with this three set microphone array, it really helps eliminate any background noise. Okay, now if you own an iPhone or even an iPad, probably one of the most convenient features on the iMac is you can copy and paste text across all of them. Firstly, it is unbelievable at how well this works and secondly, how addicted you will get to using this feature. So let's say for example, you have a bunch of text and images you want to copy to your iMac. All you do is copy that text, then head on over to your iMac, hit that paste button and in seconds, the bam, everything from your phone is copied to your computer. Not only does this feature work between your iPhone and iMac, but if you have an iPad, the exact same thing applies where you can literally just click the paste button and instantly it'll be on your iPad. This universal clipboard feature is unbelievably useful, so definitely remember this next time you want to copy info. 
Now, I'm pretty sure you all have that favorite game you love to play on your iPhone, mine's Alto's Odyssey, but the iPhone screen is not that big and you are also kind of limited as to what games you can play. But what's so cool about the new iMac is the ability to cross over some of your favorite iPhone or iPad games and play them on a bigger screen. All you do is head on over to the App Store and under the Play tab, you'll now see the section with a list of iPhone and iPad games that have been enhanced for playing on an M1 iMac. So while it's not necessarily new playing games on your iMac, it is great that games are being developed and optimized for the M1 chip. And then in case you didn't know, you can also hook up a game controller to your iMac. It can pretty much be any controller so long as it has Bluetooth and once everything is connected, open up your games and jam away. As you can imagine, it is so much more fun playing with a controller and with that 4.5K Retina display, the graphics are just so good. So you can definitely tell that Apple focused on these vibrant colors when designing the iMac and also what's so cool is you can change the theme colors in the software. All you do is head on over to system preferences and under general you will see these accent colors that are available. So depending on your style and taste of course you choose your favorite accent color and you can also choose the highlight color. So depending on which color iMac you get or already have you can really theme it out by matching up all the colors. You can also head on over to the desktop and screensaver section within system preferences once again and select whichever color you'd like of that now iconic hello screensaver that Apple made just for the M1 iMacs. There really is just something so nice about matching things up and I love that Apple have brought out so many different colors. Speaking of new Apple products, the AirTags also work so nicely with the Find My App on your iMac. The nice thing about this is if you're behind your desktop, you don't always need to whip out your phone in order to find your things. And yes, this works pretty much exactly the same way as it does on your iPhone. All you do is open up the Find My application on your desktop, then click on the Items tab and instantly you'll be able to select any one of your items, track them and locate them. So while the Find My application is not necessarily new on the iMac, it's still nice to know you can track your AirTags on there. <laughs> On to some quick tips and when you first use the power cord with your new iMac, it can be a little bit difficult or confusing connecting it to the back thanks to these magnetic connectors, but all you need to remember is once you place the power cable in, give it a small twist and instantly it'll magnetize. Then did you know just by holding down Option, Shift and the volume keys, you can adjust the volume in small quarter increments. You can also do the exact same by holding down Option, Shift and then the brightness keys and really fine tune your display. If you also want to split screen some applications, you can click hold down on that green button, then decide on your split and instantly you'll be able to open another application on the right hand side. You can even adjust your split screen just by clicking and holding down on that middle bar and moving it just as you see here. And this is so useful. But guys, that is about it for these beautiful new iMacs. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe or you can check out some of my other videos right over here. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Doodles!